Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Dave. And in this Magento Basics tutorial, you're going to learn how to enable or disable the demo store notice in Magento. And this is really easy to do once you know where the setting is. And with that said, we're going to jump across to Magento and follow us along. So Dave, we've been jumped across to our Magento administration panel. We can see that we've got the demo notice at the top and we've got that on our Magento website as well. We want to disable that and it's really straightforward to do. And if you go to system, down to configuration at the bottom, then on the left hand side, where it says general, you're after the section which says design. So click on to design on the left and that Dave, the section which we're after is HTML head. And then if you scroll down, it's the last option in here. It says display demo store notice and change that to no, and then press save config at the top. And what we'll now see is that within our Magento administration area, we don't have that demo notice at the top anymore. And it should be taken off the front end of our Magento website as well. Now, just to go the extra mile for you, if you go back to your Magento website, you may still see that you've got the demo notice at the top and that's perfectly normal. And we'll show you how to clear out the system cache as well. So if you go to system, go down to cache management, click onto cache management. Then on the left hand side, click on select all. And Dave, the reason why I'm doing this is because you listening to this may have a full page cache extension enabled and we don't know if you've got that enabled or not. So with that said, click select on the left hand side and then press submit on the right hand side and that will clear out the block cache within Magento. And if you now go back to your Magento website is that you should now see the demo store notice has been and disappeared. And of course, if you wanted to enable the demo store notice, then you would just do the reverse. You would change it from no to yes and then come into system and cache management and then clear out your caches and job done. So we hope this video tutorial has been a help to you. And with that said, from myself, Matt. And from me, Dave. Cheerios. So from myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We hope that you found this video tutorial helpful. If you have, then let us know by leaving a thumbs up on this video below or subscribing to our YouTube channel. We believe to use Magento, you don't need a degree in nerd. And we've created you over 300 step-by-step -step video tutorials at understandinge.com to help you. In these tutorials, you'll learn how to use Magento with no prior knowledge. How to build a fully responsive Magento website for just $99, which is about 65 quid. How you can use Magento to sell on eBay and Amazon with M2E Pro. And you'll be joined by over 6,000 fellow business owners just like you. And the best part is, it's free to join. So for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We'll see you there. Cheerios.